Hi, hello. Excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this tutorial, we will together animate this cool effect. Just look at that. Yeah, that's cool. So as you can see, that's the effect that these numbers, these digits are passing by. We will together make this effect. So let's get started. So create new slide, new slide, delete these default text boxes and start maybe with um, these digits. All right, so as you can see, these are just digits from 0 to 9. And yes, and the font is Montserrat, Montserrat Bold, and size of 138. So let's do the same. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right, so let's, let's select the whole text box by Ctrl and A. And now let's choose the font, <coughs> Montserrat. Let's make it bold. And 138. All right. And now let's just um, align these digits to the center. So to the middle. So right here. Ctrl and E as a shortcut. All right. And as you can see here now, when we are moving this text box, the all digits are visible, right? And here, as you can see, if we do the same, we see only this area, right? So how did I do that? That's really simple. There are located just two rectangles that are white. Let me show you. The first and the second. Let's copy them. Control V to paste. And as you can see, let's change the color for a while. As you can see now, we also have our numbers, but they are visible only in this area, right? And if we change this color to white, it's not visible at all, right? Yeah, so that's a cool effect. Yeah, that's pretty... That was a little bit advanced trick, but I think you understand. Let's create a copy of these numbers. So Control C and Control V or Control Shift and drag. So Control Shift and drag to the right a little bit. Something like that. <coughs> now we have to move this object to the bottom. So right click, send to back. All right, let's group these texts for a while. So con select these two and control and G. And let's um, position their position they um, to the middle. All right. And now let's um, lower these text boxes a little bit because we want to start with a zero. So yeah, exactly like that. Now we can um, we can regroup them. So control shift and G. All right. So as you can see now, we have only these two zeros, right? And now we want to animate these text boxes that they are passing, um, they are going to the top, right? So let's do so. Let's select these two text boxes, go into animations, add animation, and here in motion paths, you have lines. So let's, let's select this one, go to the effect options, because we want to change the direction to the up, exactly. And now open, please open animation pane. And let's preview this effect, all right? So click play all. As you can see, it's moving, but only to the one, only to the one digit, right? And eventually we want nine and six, right? 
so we have to adjust our animation so as you can see here here we can see two triangles the first is green and the second is red the green indicates where object start and the gr and the red indicates where object will end this animation so let's drag this red triangle yes let's drag it to the right by shift all right a little bit more because we want the nine digit yes i think i think that's good and let's preview this the left effect as you can see yeah a little bit we have to adjust it a little bit yeah i think that will be cool and let's do the same with this right text box so click this red triangle this red oval now and let's place it to the six digit all right and let's preview the effect yeah that's that's looking really cool but we have to also adjust to the adjust these text boxes a little bit i mean the animations of these text boxes maybe that will be cool let's check it yeah this nine is to to we have to increase the height let's preview that. yes i think that's that's cool and also we can adjust smooth end or smooth start so let's select these two animations and click this triangle click this and effect options also click it and now this new window pop up right so as you can see here you can adjust smooth start or smooth end or of course bounce end we will not use bounce end but we will use smooth end because it's looking really nice so let's make it two seconds because our time is two seconds let's click ok and let's preview that yeah that's looking really cool all right so now maybe let's um create this rectangle so that's really easy i just copy it Control c and Control v and let's paste it exactly with this with this white rectangle as you can see it's aligned perfectly so yeah it's out it adds this cool effect like this line would let's say eat this these digits and the last thing is just to add this text box so also let's copy that and paste it control by control and v if you wonder how i created this and this that's really easy i just type uh, i will show you percent space and customers are happy with our service and i just click enter and as you can see this percent um mark percent sign is above this text and just increase the font by maybe yeah by here yeah that's really that was really easy to do so all right and i just added um I just added animation to this text box so let's select this one go into animations take fly in from the bottom exactly and let's preview that if you click play from as you can see yes it's flying from the bottom but it's not so good effect right why because we didn't take any smooth end or smooth start so let's take smooth end because it's looking always really appealing let's click ok and now let's preview this effect as you can see that's really good 
maybe we have to just increase a little bit duration maybe to 0.75 let's check it all right that's perfect so let's preview this effect as you can see now nothing is happening but if we click our left mouse click the first animation is playing and as a second click 96% customers are happy with our service exactly uh, what can I tell you more a little bit about this effect of course let's copy this slide of course we created from zero to nine digits right but of course you can a little bit random them for example here zero here will be five maybe instead of two will be two uh, <laughs> eight here uh five here three maybe here one let's say here nine uh seven two and nine of all right um the one important thing is that the amount of digits have to be the same so we had from zero to nine so it it equals 10 digits and if we random random digits a little bit we have to also have 10 digits right so here the same maybe here zero but here maybe six instead of two will be three here maybe eight five and here has to be six because eventually we have we want the digit 96 right and here you can type anything maybe two one and seven all right let's preview this effect so if i click yeah that's that looks a little bit different right I think I think that looks better because here you have from 0 to 9 and in this the second animation you have some um, random digits right I think that looks better all right so I think that was all about about this video the one thing that I want you to remember is to use these rectangles rectangles that are the same color as a background because if we delete them as you can see the whole animation is broken right yeah so these two objects are crucial for this kind of animations all right so please subscribe our channel give us likes below if you liked this animation have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.